Let's Bro, go. one time, one time. I just gotta say this one time. It pisses me off more than anything. Literally more than anything to see Ellis Torhall. I love Ellis Torhall. He's, dude, he's one of the, he is the best. He's the best, period. He's the best. Uh, no doubt about it in my mind. I hate seeing him post one of the sickest, most incredible things any human has ever done in their lives and then get less views less followers and less mm -hmm. less uh income really because that's what it boils totally. down to less yeah. income than somebody who posts a fucking skit that's like the most brain dead like i i'm dude i'm about to go off but the dumbest thing that i've ever seen in the world that gets like 10 million views and i'm just like no no you know you know, we uh, we talked about this in the podcast as well, the, the one I did with WFO a week ago. And I think that this was also – Raven uh, wrote an article for Parker.com about this in some ways. And I, I think what we're seeing is that a lot of these really talented parkour guys are now chasing the algorithm. Yeah. And so it's like in the critique that Raven had of store is like, what are they doing? Like they're just – they're like, oh, we found this hole and we're climbing out of it. Watch us for 15 minutes. And it's like, great. They make three – three. they make 10 grand on the video. And it's like it just – it's it's not – it's like I don't think they actually care. I don't think – like they're great at it and maybe they do and hopefully we can have them on this podcast and talk to them. But when I watch that episode, it's like there's no, there's no soul behind this. Like I don't think in their heart of hearts they're like, man, let's go find a, a hole and we have to climb out of and we'll film it and then we'll pay someone to edit the video and we'll put it online and then – will feel like we were self-actualized. It's like, no, like they want to go and do the caveman five, like that video. Exa rock. Yeah. It's yeah, like, that was such a that's, sick video. that's the sick video, you know, but it's like, you know, where's the money? The money's not in the parkour world. The money's in other people, right? Because there's yep. 8 billion people in the world. And we got yep. like, I don't know how many parkour people we have, but not many. And so it's like, I get it. I get it. I get it. But I'm with you. It's like, or like Bob Reese. I'll call out Bob Reese. He's like, you know, Cookie Monster. Has he Can't say there? that wasn't who I was talking about. All right. And I, it's like, real quick, real quick. I got to say about Bob Reese. The man is a fucking insane athlete. He's Literally. really good. He's, he's freaking so good. good. <laughs> he's so good. And like, I, I've trained with him. He, he's he got crazy jumps. He's got crazy flips. Dude. He's the most innovative. And yet what pops off? The stupid skits. And it like, I hate it so much. Anyways, keep yeah, going. yeah, I'm with you there. He's like hanging, he's like hanging from some I beam and like the joke <laughs> of the day, and he falls, and it's like, wow, like, but bravo, you got a million subscribers, and yep. you're probably making a good living, and it's like, bravo to you, you know. So it's like I have that balance of massive respect, like massive respect. You found a way, whatever you're doing, like you found a way in a world, in the world, you like hacked the matrix. Yep. And great, like I didn't hack the matrix. I tried, I failed. You know, you hacked it. Bravo. Dude, I but tried to hack like, it. I tried to hack the Matrix, and like, I get it, I get it, but I can't. Like, I, yeah. there, I literally cannot. My soul f dies. Even, even just doing, like, a simple voiceover, it's. I, I feel like I'm killing myself every time I do that. And like, I have, I have friends, uh, DJ Caden Franco, all three of them. I introduced them to TikTok. I said, guys, you got to get on this. They're paying money and it's giving you stupid views to do like nothing. You got to get on this. And then they got on it. And I was like, damn, I, I hate this. Cause like, I didn't, you know, I'm already posting clips to Instagram. Like, cool. I'll post them to TikTok too, but like whatever. And then it started to be like, okay, well now you got to like tell stories. You got to do this and that, which is like, cool. That's great. But like, I don't care to tell a story. And it comes back to that thing. It's like, who am I? to think that somebody cares about what i did today and like yeah. every time i see a clip like that i'm like it just comes off when it, whenever i try to do it it yeah. just keeps coming back to like why the fuck does anybody care about what i like how i did this you yeah. know or, or unless it's like a tutorial in which case cool but nobody cares about cool. tutorials dude they want to see they want to feel like they learned something but they do not want to learn something they want to feel Interesting. they want to feel like they could do what was in that tutorial but they don't actually want the steps to be able to do what's in that tutorial and that's factual i've literally i've i've experimented no, i think with you're it. right i've experimented with it i've made tutorials that makes it seem like it's easy and they pop off and then i've done tutorials where it's like here is step by step this is how you do it terrible 
they do horrible. Mm. And I've literally, I've tested them side by side just because I was like, dude, I got this theory. I got to see. And every time it, the one that just makes it seem like you can get it, do it pops off. You know, um, I have a, a similar view and I, I think I want to describe it by saying where we view, where our view is different from kind of what a lot of these creators are doing is I think that what they're doing is ultimately shallow. And so I'll explain it this way. Like, when I started Take Flight, one of the breakthroughs of Take Flight was I realized we could leverage social media for free advertising and build a brand. And so mm -hmm. it was great. And so at one point we were, we were as an I was posting as many as 12 times a day on Facebook, every two hours. I would sleep for four hours and right before I went to sleep, I would post and I'd fall asleep and I'd wake up and I'd grab my computer and I'd post again. So it was like, this is how I built whatever the social media platform we had at the time. And it worked for a while and it was cool when I was in my young 20s. Then I got to a point where I was like, dude, I'm so sick of posting photos on social media. Like who gives a crap, right? Like yep. what am I adding to the world? And when I look at things now, it's like, okay, let's say Bob Reese. It's a funny joke. You know, maybe we need that in our lives. We need comedy. We need action comedy. It's like bravo. But I'm more interested in things that have deeper resonance. So like I want to do something that in 10 years is still – still has a value to the world. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, let's have a conversation that speaks about life or about training or like something deep that then someone can say, wait a second, I leveled up my, like my spirit by listening to this versus yeah. like, oh, the algorithm has pulled me in. Here's a bunch of funny jokes. And then they've wasted an hour of their time. The creators made some money, bravo to them. They hacked the matrix. But I'm like, like, what are we doing to each other, right? Like we're almost like gaming each other into this dopamine fixed algorithmic system. And it doesn't help anybody. Nope. Except some people that make money from it and some creators probably enjoy it. So like bravo to them. Sure. They hacked the matrix. They found their bliss. Great for them. I don't think it's really helping that many other people, at least proportionally, right? Well, I mean, so, I, I, I would weird. go it's so weird. far as to say it's it's actually detrimental, like 100%. Because I – so I'll find myself just like scrolling, right? And I'm – I'm speaking of, you brought up the app. Uh, dude, I, I, re, I remade it. It's so good. But like all I care about is programming functionality. I hate design work. I hate design work, but mm. I can't. So that's why it's not done yet, because I just I don't want to do the design work. Um, mm. Anyways, I, I've thought like I, I have a bunch of I have a bunch of ideas for apps, but I, I want to get better at programming. I want to like diversify the the languages that I know. So I'm actually going through a um, uh, couple like certifications, couple courses to like learn for, different languages. Oh wow! And uh, for, like coding for for coding, yeah, yeah. Um, wow. Why did I, what, what were we just talking about? I'm sorry, um, I lost the app, Building the app or something like that? Yeah, yeah building the app. Uh, before that, what were we talking about? That's my uh, bad. I got a different thought, and then I, I lost everything. I don't, I don't know. We were talking about the difference between making uh, – oh, it's, it's negative. It's negative for people. Oh, yeah, negative. It's negative. Uh, so I, I'm going through these courses, um, and, like, I'll, I'll be busting out a couple lessons or whatever, like a couple projects that it gives me. And then I'll hit one where I'm like a little bit stuck or like I'll read the words and like the words are big and I get it. But I really got to like think about it because it's just like mm. com complex. Uh, mm. And I'll pick up my phone just habitually. I'll pick up my phone, hop on Instagram or hop on uh, TikTok, and then I'm scrolling for like an hour. And like that whole hour that I was supposed to be working on this, I just get locked into literally nothing. And the thing is. I don't want something like I could get on, I could get on and I could like find something that's like, you know, exciting to listen to or something like that sure. I would want to make that resonates. But instead I just want to shut my brain off. But in doing that, like, what do I do? i literally just pause. No, I don't pause time. I pause my life while time passes by for an hour or two. And then I come back and I'm just like, wow, that was a big waste of time. Right. And that's 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 ninety percent of social media stuff. Like, it's not inspiring me to get up and do something. It's not inspiring me to do anything. It's just like an outlet to unplug my brain and waste time. Yeah. And I yeah. that's yeah. So I, I see it more as detrimental than anything. If I didn't have that, like I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to do that. I'd have to get up. Like back in the day, I didn't. There wasn't. You know, I would get on Instagram and I would just see clips of people that I follow. And it, that would inspire me. And I'd be like, okay, well, my brain hurts from studying, so I'm going to go train. And then that would inspire me to go train. 
now I see just random clips of whatever the hell it decides to show me and sit on my ass for an hour. 